Hello today, and we're going to be talking about Windows XP to Windows 10. So I'm going to basically go through all the Windows here, from Windows XP to Windows 10. I've got the last six Windows here. So here we have Windows XP. Here we have Windows Vista. Here we have Windows 7. Here we have Windows 8, not 10, 8, Windows 8. Here we have 8.1 and here we have 10. So let's go to XP and basically um, from 2001 basically. Well in my case I was using it from a little bit later than that because I didn't quickly go to XP because I was using ME and not a lot of software that I had back in the day was compatible with XP. That's why I stuck with um, ME for a while. Yes, I know people slated ME, but I didn't have a problem with it. The only problem that I had with ME that it did not run DOS in um, under Windows properly. Um, or it, no, it did, but you couldn't shut down into MS DOS mode or something like that. That's something I did not like about ME, but apart from that, I had no problems with it. So that, where we are, XP, you know, quite a nice clean layout. You know, it was different from XP and not XP. ME and previous to that where it was just so grey so down this where they introduced some nice colour to it um, and I actually quite liked XP because I like the fact you could change it um, from like the new type of start menu they had or revert to the classic menu that I'm using because I did prefer the classic um, views the menu rather and then the new one um, also it was easy to use it's easy to get about I had no problem with XP once I you know started using it when all the software came out and you know very easy even just like turn off the computer oh, I think it's done some updates don't know why because there's no more service updates for it anymore so I don't I am running all these under this software Oh fucking hell. This. This is what controls it all. This is um, um what is it? Oracle VM Virtual Box. This is the program. It's free to download. It's a fucking good program to use. Um excuse the swearing. <laughs> um yeah. So if you want to run current or even old Windows um operating system include you can even work run um, not even 3.1 if you can get it to work I cannot get um, not um, 95 98 to work for some reason ME works but I just can't get the graphics driver to work properly or the virtual graphics driver to work properly and it is in a very low uh, graphics configuration so it's nothing I can do about that but it runs XP onwards absolutely fine so yeah so to turn off very easy um, that's why I like the classic view you can get to all your programs easy everything about it it was easy it was basically just a step up from ME but obviously using the new technology which these all did um, of course these are all 32-bit versions but you're running under um, M um, an emulator I'd say but it doesn't really matter I don't think it, it supports 64 bit but that doesn't matter because you're only running an emulator version if you want to run old software so that's XP so now we get on to Vista Vista is something I didn't really use that much to be honest with you it's probably out of the operating systems I use you can't obviously count 8 or 8.1 because I, I never use these at all XP was probably, not XP, Vista was probably the one I least used the most. Um, probably about three to six months. That's when I was, because all my software, oops, all my software I was using was using XP. Some of them did not w work with Vista. So it took me a while to get to Vista. And when Vista came out, um, I think I was using it for about um, three to six months, as I said. Then I, Windows 7 started, came out. And then from then until now I am running Windows 7 and I'll tell you why 
I'm still running Windows 7. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at the ease of the um, Windows Vista actually. Once again, um, it's like you can customize your um, start menu if you can have it the new the new way for the time or well, XP's way or the classic view which I liked I like the classic view because you can get to all your programs no problems at all um, also shut down you can choose what you want already default to shut down so you just push OK it shuts it down easy as that there's a reason why I'm showing you all the shutdowns and the accessibility of it. I'm not going to talk about running programs because some programs worked and sometimes they didn't. Um, but we're not going to talk about that. I'm just going to talk about the ease of it. Also, if you want to... Um, did I configure it? I ain't configured this all well, but even so, you can just... its You can have your icons, or, or even with all of them, you can have the icons. But I didn't. I because I found it a bit messy and I had something called well even now on a piece PC I'm running it's called rocket dock so I just go to the side usually and, and a thing will pop up but even though that's on this desktop so so pretty easy to get around even got the face favorites if you want the favorites on there yeah you can do it with this one somehow but it doesn't matter so now we're going to get to Windows 7 which is my best my favorite windows up to date this date now this is my favorite windows windows 7 and you can see why it does support aero i think so did vista but reason why obviously having got the, the virtual graphics card or the graphics graphics driver not configured properly you probably can but you know i just can't be bothered but the layout itself looks pretty nice um like vista but the difference between vista and seven you can have the, it shows the clock and the date which is was a nice touch um obviously this xp didn't i'm really confusing myself here it is difficult to talk about six operating systems at once yeah that's what but unfortunately with seven you cannot have the classic view this is the it set to the original xp start menu and you couldn't change that for some reason but there's ways around it you got, i got used to it so you can go to your file um something word file manager but you can expand you can go to settings and you can have all the expansions it there was no problem so if you want to go to oh god there is more but i think it's because of the because i've got all these on 800 by 600 resolution virtually so i had to do that to get them all on the screen um so basically you can, if you had this on full screen, you can actually go to your control panels, any um, um, shortcuts really. But it's, I don't know, I honestly preferred the classic view, to be honest. That's what, the only thing that let me down on Windows 7 was the classic view. You can't have that. Perhaps they wanted you to get used to the new way. Probably, yeah, okay, yeah. And that leads me down to the next Windows. Windows 8. Now this is where things went downhill very very quickly as you can see there was no start menu there was no start um actually there should be a bar why ain't there a bar there um perhaps i've got to go to desktop oh there you go so this goes to your desktop um but the only thing that um windows 8 didn't have which was really annoying i hated it no start button no start button at all and the ease went out of it so basically how the hell do you get out of it go back to that i don't know oh here we go you've got to go to the uh, oh. so then you've got to pop up this bar and you go to settings and power shut down how fucking difficult is that you know from windows 7 to go like that shut down straight away then they complicate everything with this and look at the desktop, looks like it was designed by a fucking hippie. Yeah, and then you go to the, now I can't, as I say, I can't remember how to kick back to the, oh, here we go, no, start. So that's the start button. Start button's there and it takes you to this crap. That is just crap. I'm sorry, but that's why I fucking hated this Windows. It is shit. It's overcomplicated with all these stupid tiles which you don't even fucking need. 
that's yeah, and that's the reason why I never use this Windows because I hated it. Now that comes to Windows 8.1. Um, thinking, oh look, they brought the start button back. And where did this take you? To the fucking same thing as this. What the fuck's the point in this shit? Um, so to shut down is a little bit easier. So they just put the sh power options there and shut down. Still not as easy as still going to that and fucking shut down, but no. If you want to go to the control panel, how the fuck do you get to the control panel? No, it's fucking complicated. So how do we get back, oh yeah. Um, how do we get back to the desktop? Right here. Okay, that's fair enough. Well it ain't, because it's crap. That's why I never used Windows 8.1 also, because it was rubbish. And why is that circular thing going around? Um, oh, it's obviously something happening with this one. Um, so that really does annoy me. So that's why I never used these two. Windows 8, Windows 8.1. Oh, I thought they were fucking shit. I didn't like it. That was designed by a fucking Ippy. And... As for Windows 8.1, it was designed by Hippie with a few more idiots involved. And that leaves me not last but not, yeah, last but least, Windows 10. And, okay, it's an improvement on Windows 8. Look, we've got the start menu. Oh, the start button, well, that took a bit of a while to come up. Why did that take a while? So why? Oh, okay. All right, because I've got it on... Um, 800 by 600 obviously I've got to do that but once again really no personalization you can do I do not like the start menu it's complicated um, much easier like bang oh look where's my where's my oh well, I know where that is I've customized it out I can do what I want with this I know where everything is this where the fuck is everything especially with this these two shitty eights Oh, they were fucking overly complicated. But, alright, so we can see the power. Okay, shut down. Alright, so you go to power, shut down. Here, yeah. I can just do that and shut down with, like, space of two clicks. Shut down. Here, yeah. one, two. No, I pushed the wrong fucking thing. One, two and three clicks to shut it down with Windows 7 it was two clicks so we've already gone backwards um, another thing what really annoys me about Windows um, 10 notifications okay that's not so bad yeah right who cares about that is the updates right if we can go to updates I might have showed you oh fuck it's so unresponsible but it's probably down to I've got lots the things running in. So where is the fucking updates? So how fucking overly complicated is it to get to somewhere? I think it's under settings, but where are fucking settings are oh, see it over it? Then it takes you through all bullshit. Right, update and security. Windows update. And it there's no options of if you want to get out of automatic recommended or notified you cannot turn the fucking updates off and that is fucking annoying if you're uploading something on youtube for instance or you're downloading something and this just comes up automatically oh you're going to give going to get updates you like it or not you're getting them and then it do it when it wants to do it that will really fucking pisses you off i don't like notifications um, schedule all that shit but this one nice and easy I don't know with Windows 8 or 8.1 but this it's very simple um, we get to like just, you can just type it in okay. update so window update so you can change settings I've got it checked to update and but let me know when to download and install them which is the best option there you know that does not interfere with any uploads or downloads we're not going to check which 
I think with Windows 10 has gone fucking backwards with that. You get aero themes with that. You get aero themes with um, this one, 8. But where are the aero themes with 10? That's just disappeared. And half my fucking software did not work. It either crashed. Maps have got to wait for it to be developed more. Maybe a, a year or so. But this is the only Windows they were offering for free. And you can see why. Because it was shit. Um, so basically... Uh, mind you that does take a lot longer than say that 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 and that and look how long that takes fucking longer it's shit okay uh, this was just a basic like uh, fuck off with your message I'm not interested oh fuck off um as I say, I'm not going to go into Internet and all that. Internet Edge is pretty slow. Internet Explorer was much better. Um, don't know why they introduced that. I honestly think Google Chrome's better than that. Um, but you've got the opportunity of downloading Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever you want to use. My opinion is stay away from Windows 10. Don't even bother with Windows 8 or 8.1. Stick with Windows 7. Because clearly, in my opinion, so far, it is the best Windows they've ever done. Um, as I say, I've not really had a problem with Vista. Because, um, mind you, I only used it for about, I can't remember, it weren't long, it was un well under a year since I was using this, because I was using XP at the time. And Windows 7 come along, I just went straight to that, and I've not had no problems with Windows 7. Um, it's been a great operating system, because it's easy. Easy to get to, easy to set up, easy to customise. These 8, 8.1, 10, fucking shit. I have not seen anything great about these three. Especially Windows 8, because that was just fucking terrible. 8.1, forget it, wouldn't even... Apart from that fucking stupid pointless start bar taking you there. The only good thing about it, you can shut it down. <laughs> you fucking want to. Once you shut down, if you had this installed, reinstall Windows 7. If you got that installed, Windows 10, reinstall Windows 7. Don't, just stick to Windows 7, don't bother with Vista, you know, 7 is better than Vista, obviously up, more updated than XP, XP was good for its time, but yeah, so let's shut them all down, shut down, turn off, I don't know, shut down, so I think it was three clicks there, one, two, three clicks there, one, two clicks there, um, <laughs> fucking hell, where do I shut this shit down? Oh yeah, we have to go to the side. Do we? Yes. Settings, one, two, three. Three clicks there and well as messing about. So, this started up in the desktop. So and then we have to go start, one, two, three. Three clicks there. So in here, Windows 10, one. Power, two, three, three clicks there. Okay, now they're all shutting down. <laughs> and that one's installed in updates. Don't know why, because there ain't no more updates for Windows XP. Now what the fuck? Now we've already got problems with Windows 10 shutting down. Oh God, just shut the fuck down and just go away. Um. So it's a clear winner, from my opinion. Windows 10. Win Fucking hell! Why did I say that? My clear winner is Windows 7. Um, if I had to pick a second place out the out the um, out the six, I would say my second place would go to Windows XP. Then third place, probably because I've never had any problems with it in the short time I was running it. Windows Vista, fourth place. Well, that'll have to be Windows 10, despite the problems and the stupid updating method. Fifth place, well, Windows 8.1, and right at the last place, Windows 8. That's my opinion anyway. And everyone's going to have different opinions at the end of the day. Anyway, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.